What is down everybody? It is your main course little pancake. Welcome back to another video today. This is my last day in the dorm. So last day of this background, even though it's a little altered with all of my stuff packed up. I'll give you a little, a little cinematic shot of that. Uh, last day of the horrible lighting. Uh, last day of the highly mediocre sound quality. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get, get, get some fixes to that stuff. Today's last video in the dorm. Last day in the dorm. Um, by the time this video comes out, I'll already be home. I've got, I've got something to try. Red Bull came out with their summer edition for this year. It's Juneberry. So, that could be good. I don't know. I've never had a Juneberry before that I know of. Today the plan is just, I'm just gonna hang out. Or I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna drink this. And I'm gonna tell you if it's good or not. I love Red Bull. The original flavor is the best. I mean, you know, let's give it a sniffer Rooney. Ooh, smells good. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that smells promising. That smells quite good. Warm up the taste budge. Mmm. <gasps> okay. 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 That's quite good. And there's some kind of familiarity to the Juneberry taste. Reminds me of childhood, but caffeinated. Good thing I didn't have caffeine as a child. That would have been bad. It's got a, uh, like, kind of the back end of original Red Bull, you know? With a sweet citrusy melody, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's also got a very berry flavor in the beginning. Anything you've had that's just berry flavored, it's not like raspberry or strawberry or, you know, just berry. That's what this tastes a lot like. Almost like a blueberry flavor, but not blueberry. Like they threw a couple other berries in there, you know, called it Juneberry. I like it, you know. I think I gotta give this one like a 82? Like nothing about it is bad to me, you know, nothing's like, ah! you know. So that's good, 82. How's your day going? Hopefully it's going pretty good. I just woke up at 9 o'clock, packed up some stuff. Now it's 9.30. I'm recording this. Then I got to put all of my this stuff away, the computer stuff, all the cords and everything. Then I got to go take a final. And then I'm homebound. I got a question. It's a little more of a proposal than a question. I think we should bring back the quill and, like, the quill a writing quill and ink you know I think that's cool like the big feather of whatever pigeon feather I don't know what feather they used turkey feather peacock feather if you're you know royalty I guess dip it in some ink and write your you know 800 word essay you know what I mean what why, why did we stop is the question like yeah pens are interesting but but pens are for plebeians you know Pins are for the scum, you know? Any elegant human would use a feather, right? Like, I feel like it's the way it should be. Like, we don't even have to talk about pencils. The pencils can, you know, stay over there for math. But yeah, I, I feel like the, the quill, the, the feather, and the ink, I think it's such a cool way of writing. And it makes you look really cool. I mean, I've never seen, have you ever seen someone writing with a feather and thought, that guy's not cool? You haven't. I haven't either. So let's bring it back. Why don't we? I mean, I don't know where to get a, a surplus of feathers. But, you know, a lot of feathers are probably wasted. They click of all the chicken farms. Think of how much chicken we eat. You know? A lot. So think of all the chicken farms that, you know, that kill the chickens what do they do with the feathers although writing with a chicken feather would look slightly less cool than like a big feather and special special people 
would have big feathers. You know what I mean? It's it's all about status. It's kind of like how how people like um, like shoes, like expensive shoes. I don't I don't get that. I don't really buy into that stuff. But um, you know, shoes are like a status symbol to a lot of people. You know, well, we could change that to like you pull up to class with an albatross feather. You're like holy crap. This kid goes insane. This kid is 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 insano style over here. You know what I mean? Just a thought. Just a thought. You pull up with your chicken feather. No, everybody's gonna. They might laugh. They might laugh. You pull up with a pen. Shoot, dude. You're trying to get laughed at. You know what I mean? That's just that's just an idea. It's just a little little thought that's been noodling around in my head for a minute. That's why we should bring those back. You know. Anybody in college or high school too. Hopefully your finals um, went well. Went well. Went, went well. I think mine went all right. I passed Spanish. Massive W. But yeah, everything's going fine so far. Take one last look at this fire background. I forgot to turn my fan off, didn't I? That also won't be an issue from now on. And uh, hopefully should be able to get back up to a uh, consistent uploading schedule as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching me. Thank you for being with me through this year of college. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. Smash like, subscribe. I'll see all y'all.